So in this video, we're going to be looking at the groove to Latin. Now, this is in cut common, which means it goes by quickly. So you count in two instead of in four. But for the purpose of this video, breaking it down, we're going to count in four to make it nice and easy. But just remember that it's in two when you count. So the groove starts strong and it's quite a simple one. It's just the bass drum and the hi-hat. So we play all quavers on the hi-hat with an accent on number seven, which is on beat four. And now the other part that makes up the groove is the bass drum. So that falls on quaver number one and quaver number four. So that's beat one and the and of two. And that's it, it's quite simple. Just make sure to really be strong with that hi-hat pulse, with the accent on the hi-hat. The groove changes only slightly once we get to letter B. What happens is we add in a backbeat on the snare. So it becomes a two bar phrase. Now the first bar is just the same as we begin. And the second bar, instead of playing that accent on the hi-hat, we move it to the snare. So here's what that sounds like. So it's just the same thing, just moving from the hi-hat to the snare. Now when we get to letter C, this is a second groove within the one song. So we're going to move to the bell of the ride cymbal, and the ride plays on beats one and three. So it's really steady. And if you look at the feet, the feet play a really simple pattern too. Every bell is going to be with the bass drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on every other beat, the hi-hat plays. So your feet are just going to go right, left, right, left. Here's what that sounds like with the feet and the bell. So that's quite simple on its own. Where it gets tricky is when we bring in the left hand. It's a four bar phrase for this rhythm, but it can be simplified to two bars. It's just where you play the rhythm. I'm just gonna play it on the snare so that we can see what's happening. So that's not too difficult on its own. That was over the feet, so we'll keep the feet pattern there, the left hand, and we'll add back in the right bell. Okay, now we're going to start moving that left hand round the toms. So we're going to start with just the first two bars here. Our first left hand is on the small tom, on the snare, and then on the second tom, and then the floor tom. So the pattern that our hands are going to move is like this. Tom, snare, tom, tom. But with that same rhythm that we've just been playing on the snare. Nice and slowly, here's what that looks like. Okay, so we're halfway there. All we need to do is add the second two bars of this big four bar phrase. Now it moves in a similar way, but the left hand here is going snare, tom, snare, floor tom. Okay, so the same rhythm, snare, tom, snare, floor tom. So nice and slowly, here's what that looks like. So now we're gonna add all of it together. So we've got two bars of the first part of the groove, two bars that make up the second part, and that gives us this whole four bar groove. So here we go.
So that's the trickiest one. It's a lot trickier than the first one. But just break it down in that way, two bars at a time. Just the feet, the feet with the bell, and then all the limbs, the two hands and the feet. So that's the three different grooves that make up this whole song. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at the fills and the structure of the song.